the king of the north! I am the dragon's daughter. Hello, my sweet summer children. Today is Targaryen week, day five, and this isn't the original video I had planned for today, but y'all came through with the juice for the long night in the comments, and I couldn't hold it in anymore. So I sent a raven to the king of spoilers and leaks, my triple OG Dan from Talking Thrones. So I don't really fool with the leak plot like that. I watched a video on it once and did my best to forget it. So when I need to consult the leak plot, I send a raven to Dan. So if you don't want anything to be spoiled, now is the time to exit this video. I'm not going full leak plot here, but there might be a reference here and there. So the first thing that I missed was someone behind Sansa. You guys pointed it out in the comments. When she's leaving the heart tree, she looks nervous. She's looking back and we get a quick glance of someone behind her. I did some investigation and that someone is Bran. This particular branch in the shot is a low hanging branch. If it was someone standing, they would be closer to this taller branch. When Santa is walking away from Littlefinger in season six, his head and shoulder placement is in the middle of this bigger branch that's higher up. But if you look at this low hanging branch, you can see that this person Sansa is walking away from is low to the ground. This could be the moment that Bran tells her everything. She could be learning the truth about Littlefinger, the truth about her father, the truth about everything. So you guys said this was Eastwatch by the Sea because this gate doesn't match the gate at Castle Black. Dan also said he thought it was Eastwatch by the Sea and that's why it spiked because Castle Black's gate doesn't have these spikes. So that's a possibility. The gate Bran and Mira are at is definitely Castle Black, which is the fastest way for him to get to Winterfell. The scene in King's Landing is most definitely Euron's arrival into King's Landing. These people are clapping their hands. They seem to be at the foot of Aegon's high hill coming from the river gate or the harbor, which would be the same path Joffrey was walking on when they went to the river gate to see Marcella to go to Dorne and a riot broke out. In this leaked photo with Euron bringing the Sand Snakes and Yara into King's Landing, you can also see people clapping as well, so I'm sure this is that moment. At first glance when I saw Arya, I thought she was looking at Winterfell, but now I don't think so. If this was Winterfell or even in the north, then these treetops should be covered in snow. So she's probably still in the Riverlands, and this could be when she's leaving the twins and maybe seeing an inn that she remembers being at. It could be the inn where everything transpired with Lady, Joffrey, Nymeria, and Sansa. And this was her first taste of winter. Ned talks with her about winter and the lone wolf dying, which is referenced in the trailer, and he tells her they got a taste of it on the trident. And this could be what she's remembering because on her face it just looks like she's overcome with emotion. So Jamie is definitely at High Garden. This dead guy on the battlements is dressed in light blue. If you look at Mance and Olena or just the Tyrells in general, they wear a lot of light blue. So if Jamie is on the battlements, he has taken High Garden. In a video I did a long time ago, I talked about how Tyrion was being Land the Clever and how Land the Clever snuck into Castle Rock. I think Tyrion is going to do the same thing because Tyrion was in charge of all the drains and sewage systems of Castle Rock when he was younger, so he knows all the secrets. I've said this a long time ago, but I think that's what's going to happen. We get this shot of Grey Worm with this crack in the rock. This should be Castle Rock and this should be how they will enter. I'm sure this is Grey Worm because he has a different more ornament uniform than the rest of the unsullied and you can get a quick glance of the dragon brooch or something silver right here i do think they will sneak in casually rock as i've said before when they get in there's a guard already dead and unsullied are opening the doors to more unsullied so it's also similar to the way danny kind of took young kai so at first i thought this was gray worm dragon pendant is gone and i thought gray worm was the only unsullied to have this silver on his armor because if you look back you will see other unsullied have kind of a plain black and i don't see the silver and his pendant is gone but i can tell you where that went i think that went to masande masande isn't wearing a pendant at all and then she is is this gray worm what do you think i'm gonna tell you in a few seconds so I did further inspection and other Unsullied do have this silver cross stitch on their uniforms 
Actually, all of them do. And this is not Grey Worm because his uniform does not have this flap. His is buttoned down. But Masande still mysteriously gains a dragon pendant that looks like Grey Worms. But we'll see what happens here. I also thought these were Tarly archers, but a lot of you guys pointed out that they were Lannister archers. I went back and looked at the Battle of the Blackwater, and these archers do resemble those Lannister archers. So unless they're recycling uniforms, then I guess these are Lannister soldiers. The crow scene with all the ravens reminded me of when the ravens swarmed down and helped Sam with the White Walker was coming for Gilly's baby. You guys pointed out how the eye changes, and the eye definitely does change from black to white. So this raven is definitely being warged. I think it's being warged by Bran. In the books, there are children of the forest inside some of the ravens, so Bran could be warging them all, or he could have ally green seers in the children of the forest. Another comment I got a lot was about Daenerys being on Drogon's back, and yes, I do see her now, and yes, I do think she is intimidating Jon with Drogon and she won't be pleased by the results. A lot of people were telling me that this dragon is Viserion and I don't agree. I think it's this shot of Drogon from another angle and it looks like Daenerys on the back of him. Daenerys should not be able to ride Viserion. A dragon rider can only ride one mount. She can only ever ride Drogon. She would never be able to ride Viserion or Rhaegal. If this is Viserion, then someone's on his back and it's not Daenerys. The dragon pit scene, all of you or most of you disagree with me. I think this is Bronn and a lot of you think it's the Hound. We do know the Hound, Bronn, and a lot of the main cast were filming near this scene. I don't expect the Hound to make it past catching a white and I think you guys could be right about this being the Hound in this photo. If you look closely you can see his shirt fraying a little bit and you can see the same in the sunlight. This person, however, doesn't have pants on. That's weird. But this looks like Needle. So someone tweeted me some killer theory juice that Arya is wearing the Hound's face and she's going to kill the mountain in the dragon pit. But I'm stubborn and I have to eat every fucking chicken in this room if I'm wrong. So I still think, um, yeah, Bronn. It's Bronn. Someone also commented that Tormund has a dragon glass axe. That just would be crazy that would be nuts i can't see it well enough to tell but we do know there are limited valerian steel swords left in the seven kingdoms and dragon glass will kill white walker so it's plausible let me know what you guys think i'm hoping sam gives heart spain to someone in john's party maybe jora I think Jorah will be going with John, but we'll see. I'm going to do another video like this, so please leave all your comments and questions below and I will answer them in another video. Please like this video if you like it. Guys, this was not the video that I had planned for today, but the video I had planned for today, I fucked that audio right into the ground. As always, thanks for watching. Click that sub button and hit that notification bell and join the Shame. sweet summer family. Shame. Okay, my sweet summer children. Shame. Have a good day. Shame.